ओके स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल लेट्स टॉक अबाउट स्टूडेंट्स योर टॉपिक एंड द नेस्टिक मूवमेंट्स विद इन टेन मिनट्स ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स दीज आर गोइंग टू बी टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मूवमेंट्स दैट हैपेंस इन द प्लांट ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू टॉक अबाउट प्लांट्स प्लांट्स यूजली डोंट मूव इट मीन्स लोको मोशन दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी शोइंग मूविंग फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस बट सर्टन मूवमेंट्स इन द प्लांट्स दे विल बी हैपनिंग ओके कीपिंग दैम एट वन पोजिशन ओनली दीज आर गोइंग टू बी योर टॉपिक एंड द नेस्टिक मूवमेंट्स ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द नेस्टिक मूवमेंट्स वट आर नेस्टिक मूवमेंट्स नेस्टिक मूवमेंट्स आर द movements students that are growth independent okay it means these particular movements will be happening and they have nothing to do with the growth of the plant next to it students these nastic movements will not be influenced by the direction of the stimulus stimulus students is going to be any signal that plant is receiving from the outside surrounding see students any kind of function any kind of movement that will be happening in animals on the plants that will be totally dependent on the kind of signals some signals they create within the body of the uh, like organism and some signals that will be creating outside from outside surrounding okay so students these two signals are going to be related to the proper survival of the uh, living organism okay so students when nastic movements are going to be there this particular plant will be receiving certain signals from the outside surrounding so these particular signals students they are their direction whatever be the direction of those signals are there it will not be affecting the direction of the movement of the nastic particular movements okay next to students if we talk about these movements they are going to be very rat rapid or fast movements so again students nastic movements that are growth independent nothing to do with the growth next to it they are going to be not influenced by the direction of the movement uh, and direction of the stimulus and students they are going to be rapid and fast movements next to students let's talk about few of the types of your nastic movements so nastic movements can be students of two types sismonastic movements that are going to be influenced by the touch and your nictat uh, your nictinastic movements students that are going to be influenced by the day and night changes so students if we talk about your nictinastic movements they can be of two type photonastic depending on the light and your thermonastic depending on the temperature so now students if we talk about few of the examples sismonastic movement if you touch this mimosa pudica plant or touch me not plant students its leaves are going to be folded like this so if you see the direction if you touch this plant from here from here from here anywhere okay this plant leaf will be folding like this only so plant leaf folding direction is going to be this one only doesn't matter from which direction you are touching it okay so that's why we said that stimulus direction will not be affecting the direction of the movement of nastic movement they will be having their own direction of movement okay after that students we talk about the tropical movements that are going to be next important particular your movements that will be happening in the plants so these particular movements students are also known as tropism now if we talk about these movements so they are going to be growth dependent it means when growth will be happening okay of the plant then these movements are going to be shown so if growth is not happening this movement will not happen after that student they can be positive phototropism or negative phototropism these movements student depend on the direction of the stimulus so whatever be the signal that plant is receiving from the surrounding on those signal direction the movement of the plant will be depending so that's why they are direction dependent movement next to it student they, they are going to be slow movements because growth is a slow process so it will be happening at slow pace so these movements will also be happening at slow pace only now students if we talk about the uh, kind of movements that you can see direction it can be positive uh, tropism it means it is moving towards the stimulus or negative tropism it means the plant part is moving away from the stimulus okay so students these are going to be different uh, characteristic properties of your tropical or your uh, tropism or tropic movements we can say now students if we talk about the tropic movements they are going to be of these five types phototropism depending on the light Ge uh, geotropism depending on the earth or gravity then your chemotropism depending on the chemicals then your hydrotropism depending on the water and your thigmotropism depending on the touch let understand student these all different types of movements so first of all students let's talk about your phototropism if you see students phototropism plant moves plant stem basically okay stem part of plant students will be moving towards the light okay so wherever the light is going to be there plant stem will be moving towards the light and roots will be moving away from the light so stem are the positive phototropic and roots are the negative phototropic okay next to it students we talk about next movement is going to be geotropism geotropism it means movement of plant part towards the or away from the your uh, ground or gravity 
सो स्टेम विल बी निगेटिव जियोट्रॉपिक ओके योर स्टेम विल मूव अवे फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड अवे फ्रॉम द ग्रेविटी एंड रूट आर पॉजिटिव जियोट्रॉपिक इट मीन रूट विल बी मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द ग्राउंड और टूवर्ड्स द ग्रेविटी After that, students, if we talk about chemotropism, it can be seen during the pollen germination. So, students, what happens? Pollen grains that are having the male gametes, they land on this stigma portion of the female part of the flower. Then they make this pollen tube. So, students, this pollen tube direction will be stimulated by the ovule. Ovule will be releasing certain chemicals, and through these chemicals, this pollen tube will be attracted and moving towards these chemicals that are released by the ovule and thereby towards the ovule. So it's a chemotropic movement. It means this pollen to, uh, pollen uh, tube it is moving positively towards the your uh, like chemicals released by the ovule. Okay. Next to it, students, hydrotropism. So students, hydrotropism movement away or towards the water. So stem students moves away from the water. It means negative hydrotropic and roots moves towards the water. It means positive hydrotropic. Next to the students, your thigmotropism. So thigmotropism, students, it means movement with relation to the touch. So here, students, if you see plants, these tendrils, these spring-like structure that forms in the plant tendrils, they are going to be giving support to the plant. The, those plants that are having very tender or soft stems. Okay. So in this case, these tendrils will be touching some support and will be wrapping around that particular support to give like support to the plant. So this is going to be students a kind of your thigmotropic movement. So all these movement, if you see students, right, they were having some growth of the plant and some signal from the outside surrounding was involved. Towards or away from that, the plant parts were moving. That's why we call them tropic movements. And we talk about the nastic movements. They were growth independent, not related to growth. They were fast. And they were also direction independent according to the signal that uh, plant is receiving from the surrounding. So these students are going to be two of your very important movements that plants show. Okay. So with these students, let's meet in next wonderful session with another important topic. Till then, keep growing, keep studying. Bye-bye everybody.